The issue begins with Stephanie Brown walking into her father's meeting amongst villains. Someone knocks her out cold and she wakes up hours later tied to the corner of the room. The villains discuss her death and her father is chosen to make it a reality. Stephanie manages to knock a canister on Clue Master's belt causing a diversion for her escape. Gotham City Police Headquarters, rookie cop Jason Bard pays a visit to Gordon. Bard shares his bad day on the job by having to handcuff the police commissioner. Bard is convinced that Gordon was framed and tells him that he will not give up so easily. Gotham City Iceberg Casino, Batman breaks down the door and finds a shocked Cobblepot. Batman beats the Penguin for info on Carmine Falcone's whereabouts, but to no avail. Penguin says that after their last encounter, Falcone and himself are not on very good terms. Penguin turns around and finds himself alone in his room again. Gotham City Hall, Mayor Haiti and Carmine Falcone meets with Major Forbes. Falcone questions Forbes' loyalty. Forbes informs the two that he had dreamed of the day where police lived like kings and the mass lunatics were shot down and that was the end of it. He also informs Falcone that the police will not meddle in their affairs. The Batcave, Batman broods and ponders over all the evidence and says that they do not add up. Alfred informs Batman that Gordon's blood sample came back clean. Suddenly, the bat scanners detect a disturbance at one of the Penguin's weapons depot. Batman suits up and head out. Hours later, Batman arrives and subdues the unlucky ones working for Falcone. Alfred radios in and tells Batman that another one of Penguin's weapons depot got hit and the Roman is making his move tonight. Iceberg Casino Penguin meets with his men to discuss the Falcone problem. A man enters the room and informs the Penguin that 12 of his weapons depot are burning down. Penguin tells his men to collect their gangs and that the city is going to war. Gotham City Police Department, Lieutenant Bullock and company begin suiting up for the gang war but Major Forbes and Mayor Haiti stops them. Mayor Haiti has appointed Forbes as their new interim commissioner. The new commissioner tells the police task force that they will not be interfering with the gang war tonight and that there is a bigger problem that plagues the city. He draws a picture of his next target and tells the Gotham City Police Department that the war on Batman begins tonight. What's going on guys? Welcome to Comic Island. My name is Joey and today we are reviewing Batman Eternal issue number 3. So we are 3 issues in and even more characters are introduced. We meet Stephanie Brown which most of you will remember her as Robin before the New 52. She was also a Batgirl and later becomes the hero spoiler. In the New 52 she never became Robin, she just discovered that her dad is the criminal clue master so she will probably cross paths with Batman soon and later will become either Batgirl or spoiler. So Batman Eternal is not off to a great start for me. Let's discuss what's hot and what's not about this issue. The not so pleasant part of this issue for me is the entire Bat family no longer ha showing up in this issue. In the last issue, we'd get an awesome panel of all the Bat family getting wind of Jim's arrest. I would think that at least one or two of them would be present in this issue, except we get a cameo from Stephanie Brown which I'm not a big fan of. But issue 3 does have great redeeming qualities. I love the drama within the Gotham Police City Department and there are ties to the mayor and directly to Carmine Falcone. I never heard of Mayor Forbes yet, but he took on the title of commissioner and began a war against Batman which makes him pretty interesting in my books. I also love this build up to the gang war between Penguin and Falcone. If the police can't get it together in time, then I would love for the Bat family to come in and take everyone out. My favorite panel in this issue is something that most casual readers could miss. Did you notice the shout out to the Joker and the Court of Owls on the board on the back? Well on the next page, we see the words Dick Grayson equals Nightwing and the words deceased below that. Those three words blew my mind away. Are they saying that these events are after the Forever Evil issues that are not even completed yet? For those who don't know, right now in the Forever Evil issues, Nightwing is exposed to the world as Dick Grayson and he is last seen tied up to a bomb that is set to blow off Batman and his allies unless Dick's heart stops beating. We know that Nightwing issue is ending in issue 31 and he is in a world of hurt in the Forever Evil issues, so are they saying that Grayson is not going to make it out of this one alive? I honestly don't think so. My guess is he will survive but he'll leave town. Anyway, I highly recommend that you check out my Forever Evil review to catch up on what's happening. I'll have a link in this video. Thank you so much for watching my review of Batman Eternal issue number 3. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.